Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection from Hero Collector. This time we have the Section 31 drone, yes the ominous beast that swarmed from the Section 31 capital ship at the uh, ending of Star Trek Discovery Season 2. Yeah, spoilers, but like that episode's been out for ages now, so um, shame on you if you haven't seen it. Anywho, uh, we're going to have a look at this lovely model today. I'm really looking forward to get my hands on it. It looks super, super sleek. Um, looking forward to seeing what detail lay on the model itself as well, because the Discovery Collection has been very good, in my opinion, uh, to date. So I don't think this should be any different. Um, before we dive in, massive shout out to everyone who's stopping by to check out the video today. Big shout out to Hero Collector for sending over the model. It gives me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks as well. And also the patrons. You guys absolutely rock. So time to salute you. As I say, you patrons are absolutely rock stars. And I'd like to welcome Jeremiah Bowling to the Patreon family. Uh, you folks support the channel on a monthly basis. And uh, again, your support is, you know, absolutely humbling and very um, inspiring for me to continue to uh, improve and hone the skills. And I hope you continue to enjoy the content. And uh, let's jump in to the rest of the video, shall we? Oh, look at the box art on this. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on it. So why wait, let's just dive into it, shall we? Section 31 drone ship. Don't hit the camera. I am always hitting the camera. Um, here we have our magazine, issue 25. Yes, we jumped the gun with the Klingon D7, so they haven't, they haven't been in order. Um, some fantastic detailing across the front. Interesting, I'm sure the weapons complement. Uh, in the middle of that um, delta. And uh, dun 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 dun. We'll put this to one side. Ooh, it looks nice. It's a small craft. The same, it's like kind of like a single seater if there was a, a seat in it. A 0830A slash A section 31 drone ship. And uh, here is the. The mount. Gonna take a little bit of finagling to get that in there. Interesting configuration as well. And here we have. Oh, it's oh, it's so slender. Bit of heft in it. Feels like the yeah the die cast is on the bottom. You can kind of feel the the temperature difference between them. Interesting. Interesting paint applications. Gonna have to get up close with this one. Um, love the kind of so. Oh, it's so stealthy. That's awesome. Okay, section thirty-one, drone. Let's be having you. And again, actually, before we dive into it, I want to say thanks for your feedback on the recent videos. Glad that you're liking the close-ups, and I think the sound quality has improved as well. Uh, with the new uh, setup that I'm doing, so appreciate your feedback on that. And again, keep coming with the feedback. If you want to see me do something in particular or um, change something up, again, always let me know anyway. I might not be able to do it, but make sure your voice is heard for sure in the comments below. So let's get up close and personal with the stealth ship, shall we? So here we have our Section 31 drone ship. So interesting texture. You can kind of see the, the lattice structure and then there's the kind of dark black, grey, kind of not black, kind of very, very dark grey. And then this lighter kind of um, patch work over it as well. I would have preferred it to not have this texture, have it more like the the uh, st Section 31 ship that we've had in the past. Just pure black. Um, and there's your particle weapons. Your phasers in the center there as well. So you can kind of see that slight, you can almost feel it actually as well. Some blue detail. Now this isn't going to be heavily, heavily detailed. It's more the kind of structure of it as well. And again, here's your propulsion units as well. So again, um, impulse. 
and some kind of blue highlighting on the aft of it as well. This is very similar to the Section 31 ship that we've had already as well. And again, you can see some of the detailing just in the sculpt here as well. Going down is kind of like a, a honeycomb type of effect. Good paint. Everything is very crisp on it. And some slight different shades as well. Some, are they plastic or painted? I think they're painted on at the ends there as well. Great profile on the ship though. You know, T David Hasselhoff would be very happy with the, this, you know, Knight Rider-esque looking at craft <laughs> for sure. Uh, you could almost see a kind of manned version of this. Um, maybe in the Section 31 show. Here we have our RCS units as well. Normally highlighted in uh, yellow or kind of an orange colour on certain craft. But again, stealthy nature. You're not going to have it there. So th th they seem to be sculpted up here. But not on the ventral side. You would assume you would want that access to it as well. And again, some nice detailing just along the insides there. It's all hard to see with the black. Now if it was that black, that interior black all over with a kind of embossed um, lattice then that would have been very very cool it's a nice ship but I think that kind of light grey takes away from it a little bit that's just personal preference there I like this kind of pinstripe in here which you could have could have maybe done a little bit over here if you wanted to add a little bit of detailing on it but it's nice let's see what she's like on the stand and we'll go from there so here we have our stealth ship or drone stealth ship that is mounted very very secure uh, in that stand and again very low profile um, it sits as well which kind of adds to the sleekness of the ship um, I'm very happy with it I think it's a really cool design um, I love the kind of set piece that it occupied in uh, Star Trek lore as well but um, the only thing I will say again I think it would have served better if it, if, if it was just very very black you know, um, take out that grey uh, splatter wash across the, the, the overall body of it. Because everything else I think is very, very nice on it. I'm very curious to know what you folks think. Off of the drone itself, did Hero Collector do a great job? Is it something that's on your wish list? Are you going to have a nice Section 31 fleet by the end of it? Again, we have had the twin nacelle. We're going to have the crossbar, the quad nacelle. And now we have the drone as well. So there's going to be quite a good Section 31 fleet by the end of uh, this collection as well. So issue 25, Section 31 drone. Unmanned, uh, active in 2257. And it's type an auxiliary craft. Yeah, auxiliary kind of strike craft, I would say. Two sections, uh, Section 31 drone ship and uh, designing the ship. Uh, unmanned, uh, phasers is the main armament. And again, it's, it's, its strength really was the refracted lattice shields. Um, if memory serves, they had to kind of target both sides or both emitters at the same time to destabilize the shields. I think that was what was discovered through the battle. Um, some nice uh, close-up shots there on the magazine as well. So, Section 31 ships are equipped with swarms of remote control drones that can overwhelm an opponent. So, Section 31 ships... Would it be would it be more than just a quad nacelle carrier? Maybe there's a smaller complement of these just in general on ships as well, potentially. Um, or if I just read the rest of the article, <laughs> larger Section 31 ships carried a complement of remote control drones that were the size of a one-man fighter. Under normal operation conditions, the drones were docked inside a superstructure of their mothership. Uh, when they were deployed, they separated from the parent vessel and opened up to reveal forward facing phasers so um the that kind of delta shape opened up to reveal uh that, that which is pretty cool actually um i love the dynamic nature of section 31 ships you can kind of imagine this kind of zoop coming up a bit closer which is kind of cool um just love the profile it's just super super stealthy sexy you know it's it is it's a sexy uh craft here's the swarm uh, from the quad car the quad nacelle carrier so Starfleet's Black Ops division had a secret weapon hiding in the hulls of its ships. Dozens of heavily armoured drones. Armed drones even. Um, I love the idea. Um, 
I think the battle scene got a little bit like a bit of a hot mess um, with the kind of Tron bikes and the shuttles and you know I, I wish it was I, I wish there was less um, for better impact but again hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, so this is going into the design of it so we had Ryan Denning at um, Destination Star Trek thanks to Hero Collector talking about this as well so do check out the um, the panel that I have uploaded uh, to the channel already on that. Um, again, here you have the the whole detailing and the kind of uh, the structure that these formed in, as you can see them there, um, they separate it up. So it's like separate and then these two prongs kind of sit back for the propulsion units as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, here you have how they're housed in the mothership, which is awesome. And uh, this is interesting. At one point, the producers considered a scene where Burnham landed on the surface of one of the drone uh, Section 31 ships, only to have the ground come apart under her feet as drones were launched. That now would have been awesome. Yes, expensive to do, but imagine, boom, and then just them rising up, heading off to attack. Oh, and it, it would have been a nice show of scale as well. Um, very ominous. And uh, again, here we have the drone um, kind of packed away and unpacked. And can you get some dimensions on that as well? So absolutely fantastic! Some great stuff in that magazine. Um, we've already reviewed this. Some fantastic ships coming our way as well. So we have two more Section Thirty One ships, the Baul fighter, and uh, some more Klingon shenanigans coming our way as well. So let's end out on the back graphic of the magazine, shall we? So folks, we're going to wrap it up there for today's video. Thank you very much for stopping by to check out the Section 31 drone review from Hero Collector. Your support is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much to Hero Collector for sending the model over uh, to allow me to uh, do a review for you folks. And a massive shout out to the Patreon supporters as well. If you enjoyed the video, why not show your support by liking, sharing. If you're new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button notification bell and check out the description box below for all of the previous reviews that we've done on the channel as well. There's quite a good few there st spanning Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Aliens and more. And as always, uh, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. Have a great rest of the day, weekend, week, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.